Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So, first things first, welcome back. Um, if this is your first time coming to my channel, my name is Whitney. I'm so grateful that you clicked on the video to see what I'm all about. Um, if you are returning, hey friend. So, I hope that um, something that is presented here on my channel um, will be encouraging, make you think, or make you happy, make you laugh, um, just to inspire you. Um, I so enjoy creating content on here, and I hope that you're encouraged by it and you enjoy. But for those who have been with me, <laughs> um, you know, from the start, I've only been a content creator for about five months now. Um, and for some, you know, those who are following me consistently, you see there was some changes made to the channel. Um, and that was a great thing um, because there's so many great things coming. Um, I have been, I'm a singer, let, let's go back. I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I'm an actress, I'm an author. Um, healthcare professional, all these different things, but all of it is to bring glory and honor to God and to encourage people. So um, in all things, that is what I am here to do. Um, so I've been talking about all the different things that are going on in my life um, in terms of my career, um, in terms of my music and acting and different things like that. So if you remember, I've been talking about there is a movie that I am in that's coming. Um, and the trailer is out, so I'm so, so excited for you guys to see it. So we're gonna watch that and then come back. But it's, okay, watch it, watch it, watch it. The sky is the limit, hold your head up, keep your eyes wide open to the cross, God's holding, he's got your name on it. Sky, he's got your name on it. Sky. Daydreaming was my safe place when I was young. It protected me from my reality. The reality of being born to somebody who wasn't quite excited or ready to love and care for me. My mother. I had to open up my hands and my heart and let go and let God and allow him to move some things in me. I was physically with them, emotionally alone. 10 years old, 12 years old. I was not having it. I was not strong. Put your head up, keep your eyes wide open to the price got sold and he's got your name on it. Sky He's got your name on it. Sky the sky is the limit. Hold your head up, keep your eyes wide open to the price God's holding. He's got your name on it. Sky He's got your name thank on you it. God for the women that she is allowed to be here on today. To be able to breathe on her and support her. In the name of Jesus. About God. He loves her so much. And so many people are angry. In the midst of our anchor, God will give us that peace that surpasses our understanding. are not excited by now or can tell how excited I am um, not just because the movie is going to be amazing um, it helps so many people but because I never really put into perspective that Whitney from Jersey will be an actress um, I will be you know in such an amazing project or, or several projects honestly that 
would help people and encourage people. I'll, I have always kind of shied away from being in the spotlight and I like to run the background. I'm, I'm okay with not being on in the spotlight, even though my entire life I've been on church stages singing and doing things up front just because of the willingness that I have to serve. Um, but I've always shied away from certain things that I never put down like on paper or said like I want to be an actress or I want to be this world renowned singer. I have never ever ever said that. One, not because I didn't believe so much in myself or not at the forefront anyway, but because I've, I've always been raised to do things because your heart is there. So um, when I was going through school and my mom's like, what, you know, what do you want your majors to be? What do you, you know, what do you want to do with your life? Whatever it is, baby, I'm going to support you. Well, whatever, whatever. So I, you know, I began to say, okay, well, this makes this much money and that makes this much money and you can do this and you can travel and you can whatever there's this. And she's like, okay, no, let, let's stop. Let's rewind. Everything that you do needs to have the main focus be what is the purpose and is that something that your heart is going to be in at the back of that you know when you have you found something that you're going to put your heart into and that you're really going to enjoy that's going to help somebody and all these different things then we can decide um okay so let's see this is what i enjoy how much am i going to make behind that that's fine it's okay to focus on those things um but but mainly to have the purpose at the at the forefront so having that mindset from the time i was very young i've never put myself in the place where it's kind of like i'm gonna be a singer i'm gonna be a billboards and and i'm gonna be this actress and i'm gonna be out there with tyler perry and different things like that my vision has always been i love to sing i love people I have been taught how love, you know, what kind of love is real love, and I have gone through different things and experienced hurt and experienced um, rejection and experienced all these different things, and I don't ever want anyone to go through that, so I want to encourage people through that. I want to, if I could, I used to tell my mom, if I could, I would just sing all the time for people, like, just because I literally just enjoy it. Um, and because I know like how it's how it's caused me to grow and how loved I feel and and just in different circumstances so I want to pass that on so having this time where where things are starting to like come up for me different opportunities and different lessons is beyond amazing for me um, and it's like the small beginnings but it's like this is it's so big to me because it's like wow god the things that i saw for myself were just this but you took just this and my heart and was like all right i'm gonna put you over here and we're gonna keep climbing because it's for your glory anyway you know like it's it's just amazing and of course it brings me to the lesson which is what i want to you know kind of give you guys not so much just a life update but also there are so many things that we see for ourselves and maybe not so many things that we see for ourselves, but there's like a vision that we have um, for ourselves and, and in and of ourselves. But there is so much more that God can do in your life when you're just willing. And it's, and it's like, it's kind of like I always say, it's like the ocean. When we go to the beach or we go to an ocean, what we can see is right here we can see the sands we can see the water it's only until we go out a little further into the water I won't but <laughs> when we go further out into the water that we start to see oh there's seashells under there or there's this fish over here or, or whatever depending on what kind of water you're in but <laughs> you know you start to see different things when you go further out but God is so big that while you're on the sand he sees the other Mm, don't make me preach while you're on the sand he sees the other side of that ocean he sees what's coming this way this way that way the other way like there is so much more that you can accomplish and so much more that's within us that we don't even know because our vision is so like tunnel sometimes um, and it's just an amazing thing when when you have that willingness even even though of course none of us are perfect You know, there's days when you feel like I'm completely unworthy of this. Like why is this happening? I didn't ask for this um, 
but it's like you never, you know, don't block a blessing that God might be putting you in a situation that could set you up for the rest of your life. You know, um, he might be putting you in, in a situation to help you grow and to learn, um, to help you heal, um, especially um, in circumstances like this where, like as far as my acting and different things like that, or even putting out music, my craft has always been like my baby. Um, and it's, it's so personal to me because everything that, um, I express or I put out or I emote has always been real. I've always, uh, this, these are things that I've experienced and that I have felt, um, or, or something that has affected me. So it's very, very personal and very, very vulnerable. Um, and in expressing or in giving these experiences, it is allowing us to heal. And it's so hard to see that when you're in the ocean of it all. But it's like, man, those waves come and you just suffering. Like, I mean, you, you can't, you know, get your head above water. But when you come out to the shore, it's kind of like, oh, wow, God, you brought me through the waves and the winds. And like there was that life jacket that you put on me that was just like, oh, OK, you carry me through this. Wow. I need to tell somebody like I need to encourage somebody because I have been in that drowning place and so I just I just wanted to encourage you guys as you go through your day as you go through your life anything that you're learning as things are happening in your life look at them in in such a way where you're like okay what's on the other side of this am I gonna gain healing from this am I growing from this like what what is what is going on with this whole thing and this is very very normal to ask questions it's okay because again it's sometimes most times the things that we don't plan for ourselves that help us to get to the next place in our life and I am so grateful for where I am and, and where God is taking me and it's like such a beautiful surprise <laughs> so I am just encouraged and I hope that you will be too as I always say um, remember to love God because he is the source of of real love remember to love yourself and appreciate who God created you to be and then because of all that good love remember to love other people because that is the way your world continues to go around remember that I love you bye